previously. Now, if you don't mind, it's time to fade to black. And so we go. Hello, friends, my name's Lorette, and welcome back to Bear With Me. I, just in case you haven't seen the other episodes or anything I've put out this week, I am sick. So, sorry if my schedule is a little weird this week, and for the current voice mess up. So, yeah. Uh. Uh. We are. Wait, we're here. We've got Ted. So, yeah. This is late game. No more hints, pal. <coughs> There are a lot of boxes around Paper City, that's for sure. I bet that snake fellow would feel right at home here. Indeed he would. Looks like a locker to me. Yep, it does. Open it. <sighs> the locker is locked. Go figure. Yep. It's locked. I mean, of course it is. Let's try it anyway. It's locked. I mean... Okay. It's a hot water boiler. It generates the heat for this whole building. Okay. <laughs> hmm. No, I'm not a plumber, but that looks like some sort of excess steam vent. <coughs> and do what? I don't know. Do you have an inventory? Nope. There are a lot of boxes around paper city. Uh, okay. It's a dirty, dusty rag. I'll take the dirty, dusty rag with me, just in case. Alright. Anything else before I click on the plant, dude? see what happens get ready Ted this might end tragically okay other Ted oh. you think you can lock up teddy bear well think again buddy can I take the plant okay with the shot and do what can I have the rag back hmm kind of want some of this wood Okay, well, guess I'll go. <coughs> it's a good thing, it's just a perfect height for you. Hey, have you made all this mess? Hey! No, it was the other guy. What other guy? <laughs> the one they've locked up in here before me, <laughs> Derek. Hmm, I could check that if only they've installed some <coughs> cameras in here. Isn't it a bit counterintuitive not to have cameras in here? Sure. Anyways, you have access to records, right? Can you find something for me? I could, but you're not authorized to access my logs. I'm authorized. I'm the new supervisor, John Collins. Nice to meet you. What happened to Carl? He, um, you know, died. Holy microchip. And at the young age of 35... Yeah, he was trying to save this puppy from drowning. And he just exploded. The puppy? Sure, the puppy too. Anyways... I need to access some logs. Such a tragedy. His <laughs> wife must be devastated. No, she's fine. She ran off with her lover. I knew she was cheating on him. It was so obvious. Yeah, and with his twin brother. Enrique? But I thought he was dead. No, he was just hiding. And he had amnesia from the crash. He was living as a farmer for some time, but then at some point a horse kicked him in the head and he remembered everything. Wow. So what will happen now? I don't know. We'll have to tune in next week. Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> exactly. I'm authorized. I'm the new idiot log machine inspector. I work over at the idiot log machine inspection company. And sons. Wow, that was really rude. Do you just go around insulting people? Is this something you do? More or less. I mean, I guess I could just beat you up. I do that, too. I'm authorized. I'm the new owner. King sold the joint and went into investment banking. Robbing people this way just wasn't quick enough, I guess. No, you're not. You just broke out of a locked storage room. Boiler room. No, I didn't. It was the other guy. Derek. Yeah, or Daryl. You know, 
What am I? Namer of people. And where is Derek now? He, um, <coughs> spontaneously combusted. Look, are you going to help me or not? What do you think? Where's the guy who works here? Bill? Well, he went upstairs to, and I quote, mingle and get wrecked. Well, that's irresponsible. My thoughts exactly. Aren't you bored? I am, as of recent. Want to play a game? Does that game include finding <coughs> something for you in my logs? Um, okay. How about another game? I'm all ears. Well, microphones. <coughs> How about a game of trivia? I ask you seven <coughs> questions, and you have to answer. You can get seven points max. Don't know the answer? You don't get a point. It's as easy as that. Then you can ask me seven questions. All right? Yeah, sure, whatever. Shall we begin? Sure. Ladies first. In the previous room, where you recently escaped from... Allegedly. <laughs> escaped from allegedly. How many wooden crates are in that room? Uh... Three. Three. Uh, I'm sorry, but the answer we're looking for is one. There is but one wooden crate in that room. In a previous conversation Ted had with a beautiful and talented actress, Betty, he mentioned she shot and barely missed him grazing which ear. Wait, how do you know that? Tick tock, Mr. Bear, time is ticking. Left. Left. Astonishingly, that is correct. Good job, Mr. Bear. All right, how many numbers are there on a wheel of the American roulette? 36. 36. Uh, I'm sorry, but the answer we're looking for is 38. What is the name of your informant and an old drinking buddy residing at the docks caught in a never-ending battle with the harbor seagull? <laughs> CBG. CBG. Amazing! Ted <laughs> scores another one! What is 1,680 divided by 12? One sixty. Uh, I'm sorry, but the who is our cow? Oh, I should have seen that one coming. Uh, Mitchell. Mitchell. It's like our contestant uh, isn't uh, even trying. What? We were looking for Howard. Howard is our president. Final oh, question, God. Mr. Bear. Are you ready? Like a fox. If your uncle's sister is not your aunt, what relation is she to you? Your mom. Ding, 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 ding! Give that bear a cigar right again! Uh... Let's start with a warm-up one. What's that door over there on the floor? Ha! Huh, you'll have to step up your game a bit, Bear. That's a secret <laughs> shaft that leads outside. A bit of a security risk now that I think about it. Was Mayor Mills here at the casino recently? Talk about easy question. Mayor was here on several occasions just last month. He was meeting with the king in his lounge. Oh, no. You got it right. You're so good at this. Ha! Here and over your head, Bear. Last time Mayor was here, what were they talking about? Him and King. Does this answer your question? I can't come here anymore. Not until the elections, at least. If everything goes according to plan, Daniel, you won't have to. And you entrusted something as important to a couple of small-time thugs? I don't trust anyone. You should know this by now. They owe quite a debt to me, those little bunnies they have no choice so the girl will stay out of paper city i'll close the borders and the boys will stall her until <sighs> as soon as everything is set up my men will take our friend to the exit this thing we're doing king it is it's not right mm, it's for the good of the city daniel we're doing this for all of us i care for the girl as well but there is no other way. This, all of this, has to stop once and for all. God help her. And may the devil have mercy on our souls. Wait, what? Does this mean what I think it means? Exactly. I know everything, Bear. You're going to lose no matter... No, you stupid idiot. Both Mills and the King are working together with Red. They're setting us up. Mills sent us here so King can lock us up until Red comes for Amber. That two-timey, backstabbing son of a hog. 
I have to get out of here. I have to get to her before it's too late. Tigrin, she's my best bet now. How do I open that secret door? There's a key in one of the lockers in the boiler room. You know, the one where you didn't escape from. But Bill has the key, so good luck in that. All right, I have to go. Ted, are you going to come back? Maybe. I don't know. Why? It's just, I've had a lot of fun today, and usually I'm all alone in here, so I thought... Look, as soon as all of this is over, I'll come back and we can play checkers <laughs> or whatever, all right? Maybe we can finish the trivia game. Yeah, sure. That would be amazing. All right, be safe out there, friend. You too, buddy. I mean, in here. Be safe in here, in what is basically a fort. You know what I mean. Just be safe. Indeed. Okay. Uh... Bearception. Let's see. This side up, company. That's just confusing. <laughs> it's some time-wasting puzzle game. Ha. Huh. You're... It's a plant of some sorts. Feels out of place here. Okay. okay. There we go, little buddy. I'll take care of you from now on. Uh... What the? What the fuck? I am not fond of invading other people's privacy. Unless someone pays me to do it. Oh, I would kill for a smoke right now. It's an empty mug, buddy. Not everything is a clue. It's an empty mug, buddy. Not everything is a clue. I... You guys are gonna have to pause that and read it. I couldn't see what it said. However, this is pretty tricky. Is it? I'll just take my junk back. <laughs> Ooh, do I have everything? Hell yeah. Am I... Am I dreaming? It's that annoying log machine. I don't have a security card. Maybe I can crawl through there if I can get it open. I need some sort of lever or a handle. Bearception. Hey there, Ted. Want to pick up where we left off? I can't right now, buddy. Some other time. All right. Catch you later. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. The locker is locked. Go figure. Take your hair drop the boiler? Boy, that really <coughs> exploded. Uh it's too delicate. You don't say. Um, uh, okay. Maybe I could use this to start me knife? Hell yeah. There we go. Nothing to it. Hey. Okay. <coughs> what if the red man is actually a good guy? Down we go. Maybe that one leads to a better life. Or just a liquor storage. That'll work too. Everything is drawn so weird. Amazingly, <coughs> just trash. Get top of the door again. Alright. I'm tired, I guess. For most of my life. I had a pretty good grasp on things and how they went down. If I'd need to describe myself in one word, it would probably be perceptive. That's my only redeeming quality, it seems. 
but this case is really testing my resolve. I just can't seem to wrap my head around it. It seems to me the more <coughs> clues I uncover and more people I question, the further and further I am from solving it. So many unanswered questions. It's like some cliche crime movie from the 50s. At least I found out why they've closed the borders. They were trying to keep the doll and me out of Paper City. King and his goons showed Red the exit to Amber's house, but we managed to sneak into the city before he could get to her. Now, King has her locked up in his casino, and Red is probably on his way there already. Why are King and Mills working together? Nothing about this makes sense to me anymore. Am I losing my mind? And am I looking for reasoning in the city that will offer me none? What the hell is going on here? And most importantly, where is Flint? Has Red done something to him so he could draw out Amber? Why is she so important to him? It feels like I'm drowning under waves of uncertainty. I need to get some outside help. It is said when a man loses his way, he often finds salvation in things he never considered before. Uh, seems right up my alley. I have a lot of questions on my mind. The most important, however, is how to get Amber back. And the answers to all of these, I bet, I'll find in the things I never considered before. It's time to find Tigrin Jones. Couldn't be clearer. Okay, so right quite here. <coughs> there you go, little buddy. And walk it here. Maybe this will work. Hmm. I thought the obvious <coughs> door would open. Didn't really expect the wall to open. <coughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, Tigrid. Ooh, she pretty. Your regular household supplies. Salt, butter, monkey skulls. Oh boy, an octopus. <coughs> something that can only be a human skull. A jar of eyes and a big wheel of cheese. <coughs> Everything you need to make this place as creepy as possible. And <coughs> shoes. Can't miss those. Indeed. If that thing starts moving, I'm out of here. <coughs> <laughs> Got problems with steaks? It's covered with voodoo newspapers and voodoo cardboard. Magical. <coughs> wow, that's a big candle. Looks important for a nonsensical superstition, that is. Alright, anything else I can look at before I talk to Tigrid? <sighs> a nod to greatness. Wait. Is that me? <laughs> I'm not talking to myself, buddy. I'm not there yet. But... You, okay. I don't think so. I don't want to turn into stone. Okay. If it isn't Teddy Bear, the famous detective, <laughs> you finally come to see me. You need my help, or you need a change of perspective? There's no hiding things from you, is there? Tigrin knows everything, Teddy Bear. Then you know why I came to see you. You need my help to get the girl back from King. <laughs> wow, that's... that's exactly why I'm here. And what made you change your mind about seeking me out? You're running out of options, little bear. Listen, I'll be straight with you. All this voodoo mumbo-jumbo. Well. <laughs> Do I look like a saleswoman to you? Fair enough. I need your help. No one knows King better than you. I don't know King anymore. He has lost his mind. Was there ever a time where he was, you know, sane? He is afraid, Bear, as we all are. Things have changed. From King's perspective, he is doing everything he can to save the city. To save himself. <laughs> Even if that means handing Amber over to... The Red Man. Yeah, that's the plan. She's over there right now, entertaining his guests while he looks for his new buddy. Once he gets there, I don't know what's going to happen. The meeting between the two is inevitable, Bear. King wants to force it, but the girl will only face him once she is ready. 
Not before. Until then, you have to take her out of the city. Deeper into the city she goes, and longer she stays, more difficult it will be for her to return. I don't have time for your riddles, goddammit. She's in danger. You are so backwards, Teddy Bear. You can't see what's right in front of you. The girl and the city, they share but one soul. And something is destroying her from the inside. What about her brother? She won't leave until we find him. The boy is not here, Bear. Are you sure? Where the <coughs> hell is he? No one seems to know anything about the kid. There is but one man who could know where the boy is. Red. The Red Man and the girl are connected in more ways than one. They are on two sides of the same coin. <coughs> things she doesn't know, he knows. And things he's missing, she owns. Okay. How do I get Amber back from King? King has a weakness. The one I'm inclined to help you exploit. As long as these flames are lit, King cannot be harmed. So you're protecting him? Why are you doing this? You don't owe him anything anymore. King and I shared a strong bond, the one of the flesh and the soul. Traces of our bond can still be felt by both him and me. Also, I can't let him die until I make him change his will. Huh. Even the powerful <laughs> Tigran Jones is not above the earthly things like money, it seems. It's only my money I'm after, Bear. Even the powerful <laughs> Tigran Jones needs to eat, huh? All right. So, can you help me? I can. Yeah. Okay, will you help me? It is done. That's it? I don't feel like explaining <coughs> all of this mumbo-jumbo to you, Teddy Bear. King is not under my protection anymore. <coughs> Go and do what you need to do. And if I kill him? Uh, with my help or without, you'll find King won't <coughs> be easy to take out. Okay, what do you know about Red? Red, what do you know about him? Oh, I know as much about him as <coughs> I know about you. I'm not sure how to feel about this. Can you stop being so damn cryptic and give me a straight answer for a change? The past, present, and the future of the one you call Red is not up to you to know. Amber. The girl knows everything. <clears throat> She's just forgotten. What does he want with Amber? We will see when the time comes. Of course. Well, <clears throat> this was as helpful as a kick in the head. Get the girl out of the city, Bear. You don't <clears throat> have much time left. She won't listen to me. She's looking for her brother. And unless I can somehow convince her he's not here, there's little I can do to change her mind. Wait, what do you mean we don't have much time left? Tonight, look for the rose petals in the wind. If you are not with her still when you see them, you might just die of a broken heart. Oh. Well, that's just great news. <laughs> uh, news is news, regardless of your opinion on them. That's the way the cookie crumbles, huh? Stop speaking in riddles, Ted. Huh, <laughs> good one. Anyways, it's not like I don't like hanging around creepy voodoo dens, but there's a damsel in distress waiting for me. Go and help her, teddy bear. Before I leave, I just want to check something. What are you CBG doing? CBG gave me this thing he found at the steel mill after the fire. Do you know what it is? This is nothing but a worthless trinket. <coughs> but your friend has too many <coughs> bats in his head. <coughs> Who knows where he found that? It's not a voodoo thing. It's not. <laughs> you think King had something to do with this? Not anymore. I think I might have some other ideas about who burned down the mill. Yours is a world full of mystery and intrigue. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really blessed. Anyways, it's been a blast. Don't stay up too late. <laughs> I like you, Teddy Bear. You have a kind heart. Be safe <coughs> now. You're all right, too. See you around. Indeed. Anything else before I go? Why are you still here? <coughs> Time is not your friend. You got that right. Uh, okay. I'll leave. That's fine. Out I go. <coughs> Can I take anything back? Couldn't be clearer. Nope. Okay.
Maybe do it all soon before I go back to the casino. Just in case. Nope. I'm okay. Back to the casino I go then. <sighs> the girl, Ted. She really is something else. At least we can agree on that. You don't seem to be surprised to see me here. As I already told you, there's not much going on in this city that I don't know about. So, you probably know where I went in the meantime. Did she? Did she agree to help you? She did. Does it matter anymore? You can have the girl back. Why the sudden change of heart? <coughs> it was stupid of me to think I could change the fate of this city. We owe everything to the girl. And if repaying that debt means we have to suffer in her place, then so be it. It doesn't have to be like this, King. You're a powerful man. Help me. Help me get this red bastard. You haven't met this guy, Ted. There is no stopping him. Why did you agree to help him in the first place? I, I thought I had no choice, Ted. That thing is going to destroy the entire goddamn city. What is he? He is everything you and I aren't. He is the antithesis to everything and everyone in this city. He is our undoing, Ted. Wow. Is he? You really were married to Tigran Jones. Would it kill you two to make sense sometimes? You will understand when the time is right. And when will that be? That's up to the girl when she's ready. Did you tell your new buddy to come here tonight? What'll happen to you now that she'll be gone? <laughs> Seeing as you got Tigran to remove the spell from me, I'm not really optimistic about my chances, Ted. But don't worry. It's time to teach that red-hooded freak what happens when you try to threaten the king. You just get her out of this place, Ted. Get her out of this damn city. I'll try. You were always a thorn in my side, Bear. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't respect you. You just give him hell tonight. Oh. Oh, I intend to. So long, King. Dead. Okay. <coughs> We're at the docks. So now what? We need to get out of the city, doll. Start fresh in the morning. What are you talking about? I'm not going anywhere until I find Flint. This is why we came here in the first place. Flint's not here. here. There's nothing here. We need to go back. It was a mistake coming here in the first place. Uh, so, all of this, it was a waste of time? I wouldn't call it a total waste. But it's not safe for you here. Oh, so now suddenly you're worried about my safety? Suddenly. You didn't want to come with me in the first place, remember? Then you dragged me to Paper City, and now you're telling me we should go back? Well, I'm not going. Oh, and I suppose I should just stick around and wait for someone to shoot me, because I can see it coming a mile away. Uh, you're just being paranoid. Maybe Betty was right. Maybe what happened to CBG is happening to you now. I'll pretend you didn't just say that. Besides, did you forget we were just held captive by a notorious criminal? I need to get you away from this place, doll. No! I'm staying! I'm going to follow my leads for a change, and I'm going to find Flint with or without you. You can go back to your sad office you love so much. Oh, wow. You think I love being cooped up in that place? Has it ever crossed your mind? I set my office there so I can... What? Forget it. You're acting like a child, Amber. Anyways... It's clear to me you don't trust me anymore. And I'm positive you didn't tell me everything you know about this case. So, seeing as you believe I'm slowing you down, I wouldn't want to be a burden on you. <gasps> You've... you called me by my name. What are you saying? I'm saying this is the point in the movie where we part ways, doll. Wait, you're really going to leave me here? Alone? Frankly, my dear, I... Don't you dare quote movies at me. Hey, this is your city, right? No one is safe here more than you. What about the red man? You know what? Fine, leave. It's not like I really need you anymore. I'm capable of doing things on my own. I figured as much. Just wanted to hear you say it. 
well. See you around, doll. So sad. Oh shit. Ted? Come back. Shit is going down. Well, fuck. All right, well. <coughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet setting out. Bye.